Hey, so we actually just came from Elvis Duran. We played the morning show. We played a couple songs. Yeah, it was pretty well. It was really good. They are just the nicest people. They've been super, super supportive of us, and we actually grew up listening yeah. to Elvis Duran. And so it's very cool. Like what? Four years ago, in a mall in Miami, we did yeah. an event with him, and it's so crazy to actually be on his show now. It was so nice. Yeah. So we played our new single "Week," and we played a cover of the new Ed Sheeran single, which has just been stuck in our heads for the last couple of days. Um, yeah, did a slight just, remixed version. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, we added some stuff to our sample machine and Jack played that on the sampler. So we just talked to him about how we do it, how we produce everything ourselves, how we're indie, we're not with a major label. We, we had a pretty good discussion. Yeah, and like I said, it's, it was just a really big accomplishment being there. Like, I remember being five years old and like riding the school bus to school and while listening to Z100 and Elvis around like making jokes. And that was before we even got started with the music. So to think that I was just there and then suddenly we're actually in the studio making jokes Crazy. with him is just like absurd. Nice. Yeah, anyway, we're on our way to the coffee shop, get something to drink. all because <laughs> I, I have the microphone so he has to have speak to into my chest duck in there <laughs> we've lived in new york city our entire life um and i think it's been really inspiring for the music um i think just when you walk around you just see so many different types of buildings faces foods like how could you not be inspired like over there there's a homeless man throwing up like even that's inspiring like, that's a hit song that's a hit song itself. yeah three years ago when we had our first single i'm ready our process of writing was very different uh we we always started with production we always started with a really cool sample or a cool beat. And then we wrote the rest of the song around it. And now with our new music, with what everyone's thinking, this new EP and our album, we, we always start with the lyric. Like we always start with a concept that has never been done before. Like the idea of being weak and giving into temptation and being okay with that. And then we kind of produce and write the rest of the song around that. And I think the whole idea behind the production of Week was we wanted the verses to be really small and very like piano based, and then the chorus to kind of explode out of nowhere and surprise everybody. So yeah. that, that was kind of our goal. It's like the beginning is this super mysterious, very, very uh, sparse. simple, sparse piano part that's like a little sad. Is what I should have said. I should be in bed. Like on this, and this is what's bad. Totally. And then the big explosion is kind of just pure joy and happiness and content that 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 you are weak and you're okay with it. Right. You know. It's a song that you can probably listen to just as much on your own as hear it like at a party or. Yeah, a club, and I think those are the like best that. kinds of songs. Yeah. Way to toot your own. I your just own horn. We're the best kind of artist. There <laughs> is. Oh, that's horrible. Please don't use that. <laughs> One zip. Bad for me. One hit. Bad for me. One kiss. Bad for me. But Our I first guess. show, we sold three tickets, yeah. and there were literally three people in the audience of a 2,000 person venue. I think street performing does that to you, to your mentality, because you're just, when you're street performing, you're kind of in a very desperate mode of, please listen to me, guys. So, like, I feel like that was ingrained in our brains, and we never really thought people would want to see us. Yeah, now, anyway, uh, about half the dates are already sold out, and we haven't even started the tour yet, which is very cool. Uh, so, I mean, now that we've sold out these dates, now it's our job to make a show that people actually care about yeah. and, and, and th that make them shut their computers, shut off Netflix, and get in their car and come to the show and see us. Yeah, yeah there's all new remixes, a lot of energy, and I really hope people have a good time. Let's all squeeze in like we're the Beatles. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Give me decaf tea. Uh, we have an herbal tea with experiment. We're, we're allergic to this. <laughs> uh, yeah, get hot water? yeah, sure. Can we just get hot water with lemon? Do you have any decaf hot water? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just got some hot beverages and. Uh, what kind of hot beverages? Yeah, we, we have hot water, which is very good for the throat. Anyway, uh, talking about what we're looking forward to later. 
as soon as the tour is done, we're coming back to New York City to our living room and going to continue recording and writing and working on an album that will come out this summer, probably. We're also really excited to visit a bunch of other countries because um, oh, yeah. we went to Australia and we had a little bit of success there and we toured a little bit in the UK, um, but we were looking and the song was charting in so many different countries in Europe and in Southeast Asia and a lot of other places, so we're excited to see other countries. Our favorite part of, of, of this job is just doing this, is doing the music and, and performing. We're not really in it for the fame. We never really have been. Right. So just to get back home and just have more and more people hear the song would be just fantastic.